Greetings, my friend. I just installed it. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Yes, 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 yes. But don't I just put it on? If only it were that simple. Think of power armor as a machine to be operated, rather than clothing you'd wear. With a little instruction, using it becomes as natural as simple movement. But to the ignorant, it's just so much heavy junk. So let's bring you up to speed, shall we? Please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you. Not just the more mundane arms. Yes. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Yes. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Yes. 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 Oh, look, heavy. That's still... I like it. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Boonie. Come on, Boonie, dance. Wait. Let's go, meet. Oops. What did I just do? Uh, weird. Oh, I got Get the fuck away. Welcome to the range. Feel oh, wait. Wrong guy. I want to talk to you. Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Good news for this store, let me tell you. I can't wait to start getting more goods. So what are you here for? Good sec. Have you found it? I need... Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Ballistic, fat man, killing weight. Ooh. Chaos. Ceramic lens, right? Fried shotgun? Nah. Uh, I 
ammo. Fat man. You know what? I'm gonna try and see if I can do a little trick. Should be right back. Be carrying those weapons around on the strip. That damn Mr. House has forbid any NCR military personnel from carrying any sort of firearms on the strip. Well, except for Captain Pappas. Mr. House still doesn't trust the NCR. A word of advice: the Securitrons won't put up with any funny stuff out there, so don't do anything stupid. Is this your first time on the Strip? Yes, it is. Well, it's time to pop your Vegas cherry, friend. I'm sure you'll have a blast and be drunk and capless in no time. I can give you a bit more information about the various casinos if you're not sure on where to get started. Tell me. Well, there's the Lucky 38, Ultra Lux, Gamora, and the Tops. Which one do you want to know about? Ultra Lux. The Ultra Lux is the nicest casino on the Strip. Real high-end, extravagant, and expensive. Best you have a lot of caps if you want to go there. Gamora. Gamora is the favorite of the NCR troops on the Strip. If you like girls, alcohol, gambling, and drugs, then Gamora is just the place for you. The Tops. The Tops is the cool place to be right now. Lots of entertainment and shows going on there as well as the gambling. If you want to catch a show and have a few drinks, you should definitely hit up the Aces Theater in the tops. Lucky 38. Don't know much about it, to tell the truth. That's where Mr. House and his Securitrons are set up, and no one's been in there as long as people can remember. Probably best that you just ignore it. Mm, okay. Mm, uh, about something else. What is there? Well, there's Vault 21 and the NCR Embassy. Both places are located on the south side of the Strip. Vault 21 is a small hotel and gift shop. It's not as nice as the casinos, but it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper. The NCR Embassy is the headquarters for the NCR on the Strip. The Ambassador and his offices are there as well as the MP headquarters. Goodbye. No clue why I opened him. Nope, the floor. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Yeah, you gotta think some me. Hello. Go on through, soldier. Go on through, soldier. Oh. Go on through, soldier. Okay. going What the hell are you going to do? Ooh. Aww. I see people. Yep, the key has to be right. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Cigarettes I can steal. 
but won't. This is goat. Nah, I got enough. <laughs> you. Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. You got something to. You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Maybe. Need help? Yeah. So far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Is that a big shot or something? Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's Legion, from Caesar on down, will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy, they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Mm, how about a truth rock? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. Have you tried calling me a hurtful names? Yes, and one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. Mm, just beat him. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you can't do? I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Mm, okay. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles. Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. Yay. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. Yay. 
And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you...